Queens Park has given South Riverdale residents reason to celebrate tonight. The Ministry of the Environment will start removing contaminated soil from the area in six weeks' time. Okay, get ready. Go. Go. That announcement was made tonight by Environment Minister James Bradley, following a lengthy study on the levels of lead contamination in South Riverdale soil and the children who play in it. He said high emission levels from the Canada Metal Plant on Eastern Avenue have resulted in elevated lead levels in the environment. The program will remove soil from as many as 1,000 homes in an area bordered by Booth Avenue on the west, Lang to the east, Queen Street on the north, and Eastern Avenue to the south. About a day for the removal and a day for the reinstatement of the, the lawn and the sod. And we would expect very small equipment, a minimum of disruption to neighbors. Most residents we talked to tonight thought it was a good idea. But in 1977, 49 homes in the area underwent a similar program. Recent tests have found lead contamination on those properties has since risen to previous levels, which brings about the question of recontamination. I don't expect it is going to happen again that we'll have to uh, get into one of these programs in this neighborhood again. I think by continuing to tighten our regulations, continuing to cut down on emissions right across the province, we're unlikely to see this happen again. Unlike McClure Crescent to the north, soil from South Riverdale has a place to go. The contaminated dirt will be dumped at either the Keel Valley or Brock Road landfill sites, which will most likely prompt local opposition. I imagine they'll have some concerns, and I think we'll, we'll have to prove to them that this kind of soil is only a problem when it's in someone's backyards and getting under the fingernails of kids and getting into their stomach. That soil removal will start at the end of July. 25% will be done by fall freeze-up the rest next year, when the ministry hopes to be able to tackle other contaminated areas of the city.